Three years ago, I served in the Army in Samaria on the West Bank. In Ramallah, the Arabs rioted. So they sent me there to put down the riots. Now, now I want you to know that not five minutes passed, the word spread through that town like lightning. Kahana's here. The rioting stopped. It's important that every one of you know what the name Kahana means to the Arabs. It means terror. They're afraid. And that's the only language they understand. And for those nice Jews sitting here who say, that's, that's terrible, let me just repeat what Moshe Ahrens once said to a group of UJA givers in Jerusalem. One Jew got up and he said, why, why, why must there always be, be war? Why can't we sit down with the Arabs, coffee and cake, and we work the problem out? And he said, sir, this is the Middle East, not the Middle West. That's right. It's the Middle East. And that's what the Arabs know and understand. If you're good to them, you're not good. You're weak. And if you're weak, you're dead. And if you're strong, they listen to you. I don't expect them to love me. I'm not the kind of Jew who walks around begging people to love him. I'm sick and tired of being, you know when people love us? After every Holocaust, that's when they love us. That's when they love us. That's when they give us plaques and monuments, and Jimmy Carter gives us a Holocaust commission. <laughs> well, I'm tired of Kaddish, and I'm tired of your sites, and I'm tired of plaques. And my, I don't want love. I want respect.